Hey Trailblazers, we are about two weeks away from patch 1.4 and it's time to start thinking about if we want to pull for the new banner characters, which are Jin Liu and Topaz. Instead of doing a normal strengths and weaknesses video, I want to go through the entire decision making process of deciding where to spend your stellar jades. The first step to figuring out if you want to pull or skip is information gathering. At the moment, there's not too much official information about Jin Liu or Topaz besides their element and class. Jin Liu is an ice destruction character, and Topaz is a fire hunt character. Just from their class, you can make some assumptions about their damage profile. Jin Liu will likely do blast damage, and Topaz will likely excel at single target damage. If you want to learn more about these characters, you have to search for unofficial sources. I'm not going to share them in this video, but if you do a quick search on Google or YouTube, you can find a lot of information about Jin Liu and Topaz's gameplay. When gathering this information, you want to pay attention to what makes them unique. Jin Liu has a buff state where she does massive damage with an enhanced attack. She makes herself stronger by draining the health of her team, and she is very skill point efficient. Topaz marks the enemy and focuses them down. The marked enemy takes more damage from follow-up attacks, and when allies use follow-up attacks, Nami's attacks activate sooner. From this information, you can start to build a mental model of each character. Jin Liu is like an ice element blade. She has a buff state that boosts her damage, an HP loss mechanic, and doesn't use many skill points. You can ask yourself, do you want an ice element blade on your roster? Topaz on the other hand is more specialized than flexible. She is made to be in a team with follow-up attack characters. She makes follow-up attacks stronger and follow-up attacks make her stronger. So you should ask yourself, do you have the characters to make a follow-up attack team with Topaz? This nicely segues into step two, which is evaluating your account needs. Let's use my account as an example. Both Jin Liu and Topaz are damage dealers. Do I need more damage dealers? At the moment, I have five built, so the answer could be no. But at the same time, I have all the essential supports I need to complete MLC and Swarm Disaster. So my account has the luxury of pulling for extra characters. Let's look at my damage dealers again. Do I need ice coverage from Jin Liu or fire coverage from Topaz? I actually do need an ice carry. So for me, Jin Liu has value. This is probably the same for most of you besides the Yangting mains. I'm very happy with using my hook as my fire carry, especially for single target damage. So I don't need that coverage from Topaz. I also don't have Clara and Himiko to synergize on follow up attacks. So Topaz does not improve my account very much. Jin Yuan is not a good partner for Topaz because Lightning Lord activates too slowly to rely on as a follow-up attack enabler. So when you look at your roster, ask yourself, are you satisfied with your current damage dealers? Do you need to save for other class types? And can you take advantage of Jin Liu and Topaz's unique mechanics? The last step in figuring out if you should pull or skip is looking at your Stellar Jades and Sario passes. Can you afford to pull? If you're short on pulls, consider just skipping and saving for 1.5. I'm at 70 pity and around 70 pulls, so that puts me in a very comfortable position to guarantee a character or even go for a light cone if I win the 50-50. Remember that when 1.4 releases, you'll be able to get 20 extra pulls very quickly from new events and new content. If you're short on pulls or hesitant about using them for Jin Liu and Topaz, I think patch 1.4 is safe to skip on. Both are not at the same power level of Imbibitor Lune, so you're not going to be missing out on the next meta queen. In conclusion, this is my 3 step process for deciding on whether to pull or skip. Gather information on the new characters, evaluate your roster, and calculate your pulls. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your summons.